today we talk about fauvism. It's a genetic condition that stays hidden most of the time, but can all of a sudden develop into life-threatening condition. We'll talk about why does it mostly affect guys and boys, and how do you know that you have it, and why is that it actually protects people in certain part of the world. Hello, welcome to Dr. XY's channel, where you will find fun facts and knowledge about genetics from a board-certified clinical laboratory geneticist. So favism refers to a genetic condition where after consuming fava beans, the affected individual would develop hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia means fast destruction of red blood cells. Because of this process, hemoglobin is released, which results in dark-colored urine. And because red blood cells is quickly drained from under the skin, jaundice would also develop. In Chinese, favism is called Tan de Huang. It literally means fava bean yellowness. And because we rely on red blood cells to carry oxygen throughout our body, we would feel fatigue and there's also going to be shortness of breath. Favism can develop into life-threatening conditions that needs emergency treatment. Sometimes blood transfusion would be necessary. So why is it mostly seen in guys? That's because favism is an X-linked genetic condition. Check out my previous video on Duchenne muscular dystrophy for more explanation on X-linked genetic conditions. To explain it briefly, it means a genetic condition that's linked to gene mutation of a gene located on chromosome X. And because male only has one X chromosome, if this gene is mutated, there's not a backup, disease would manifest. Female has two X chromosomes. If one of the gene is mutated, there's another backup gene on the other X chromosome, female would be asymptomatic carriers. And what is this critical gene? It's G6PD. It stands for glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. And in fact, the official name of favism is G6PD deficiency. Our body's natural metabolism process produce reactive oxygen species. We call them ROS for short. Our red blood cells rely on G6PD to protect it from the damaging effect of ROS. Chemicals in fava beans and some medications lead to high level of ROS buildup very fast. And due to the lack of G6PD protection, red blood cells are quickly destructed, leading to hemolytic anemia. So any biological events that create high level of ROS very quickly would lead to favism. That does not just include consuming fava beans, it also includes inhaling the pollen from fava plants, exposure to certain medications, as well as illness and infection. And interestingly, somehow favism protects the red blood cells from being invaded by malaria parasite. So in areas around the equator where malaria is common, it actually gives survival advantage to these affected individuals. And that's why favism is more common in people with ancestry from the tropical or subtropical areas of the world. So how do you know if you have favism? After all, this is somewhat, somewhat a hidden, scary condition. Well, can you pick up a clue from your family? The answer is yes. If you have a family member, a relative with favism, Think about if there is a chance that you would share the same X chromosome with that person. For example, if your maternal grandpa has favism, his X chromosome would carry the mutation. He will pass that X chromosome to your mother for sure. Your mother would then have 50% chance of passing that mutation to you. If you are concerned, connect with your primary physician. Um, you can request a blood enzyme test that measures G6PD enzymatic activity in your blood. You can also request a DNA test that measures the gene sequence of G6PD. Check out my previous video about what type of samples should be used for certain kind of genetic testing. In the case of G6PD deficiency, many sample types such as saliva, buccal swab, blood sample, all should be acceptable. So that's it for favism, a genetic condition that affects 400 million people around the world. Staying informed and avoiding triggers is the key to live a normal life. If you find today's content to be useful and interesting, like, share, and subscribe. 
remember, the world is beautiful because we're different. And I love you to every single base pair. Thank you so much for visiting and I will see you next time.